Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're going to be looking at an internal linking plugin called Link Whisper. Now, in this Link Whisper review, I'm going to show you exactly what Link Whisper is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if Link Whisper is right for you. And just to let you know, I'm going to be referencing to some different pricing that's actually going on right now. So if you want to check that out as I go through it, there are some links in the description. And if you also use those, you'll also be helping support this channel. So first of all, what is Link Whisper? It is a WordPress plugin that once activated gives you a set of features that allows you to quickly and easily link different articles and posts together. Now this shows Google the entire sort of overview of your articles showing which ones are authoritative and which ones are linking to those authoritative articles, which gives you more SEO juice and helps you rank better. So this particular type of strategy is great, especially using this tool because it saves you a ton of time. So what I'm actually going to do is jump behind the screen and show you Link Whisper. Okay, so first of all, let's start here at the Link Whisper website. What I want to do is run through some of the different features, and then I'm also going to be showing you the different pricing. I found some secret pricing out there, so it might save you a few dollars. Before we actually get into the features though, I just want to quickly show you for the people that don't know much about internal linking, why it's important. And the main reason is, is it helps Google understand and rank your website better. Now here's a little graph just here on the right, which you can see. And basically it's showing you how your website articles and everything should be structured. Just to give you a quick rundown, here is your website at the top. Here is what we call the pillar posts or the pillar articles. And basically these are the most important ones on your site where you want people to actually go through. Then below that we've got supporting articles which link to it. And then below that we've got supporting articles which then su uh, link to the supporting articles which then link to the most important articles. And if you structure your website like this, it shows to Google that hey, these three pillar posts are the most important ones on this website because it's all being linked to. So you should give it some juice basically and it's going to rank a lot better. So that's what we're trying to achieve. Now the issue is if you were to do this manually, it would take a lot of effort. Let's just say you created a new post, uh, a new supporting post here that you wanted to link to there. Well, you've already got these different articles that you want linked to it. You already want to link from this one to that one. So it's a bit of a mission, but with Link Whisper, it's just going to take a few minutes instead of actually having to go through and figure out what goes where. And this is done using a smart internal linking plugin like Link Whisper. So what it does is it automatically allows you to choose links as you're writing them. If you have existing posts, you can also find uh, different links that you can link to or from, from this tool as well. And I'll show you in a minute, I've got it going on a live site. You can also choose different keywords of your choice. You've got reports as well as uh, you can fix broken links. And then it's got a bunch of other tools as well. It also connects to Google Search Console. So you can see what everything's happening. So it's a very powerful tool. Um, honestly, the best part about it is it's just fast and easy. I have <laughs> constantly gone through trying to replicate what this tool does and it's taken days to actually figure everything out. So it's really important. And just to go through the pricing before we get started as well, for the Link Whisper normal pricing for a single site, you can expect to pay $77 for a year. If you want three sites, 117. And if you want 10 sites, 167. Now there is a bit of a launch sort of price going on at the moment. It's not even really a launch. It's just a promo that's going on. If you have just one single site and you're thinking about getting Link Whisper, there's actually a deal going on right now in AppSumo. I've left a link down in the description. It is just for one year as well. It's not a lifetime deal, but you can get the single site license for actually just 49 bucks. Where is it? Here it is. For just $49, you can get pretty much the same thing as this. Just know that after the year, it's going to expire and you are going to have to re uh, subscribe to this one here. Now, just a bit of an inside sort of scoop. If you do go through the AppSumo plan, you can also upgrade, I think slightly cheaper. So if you wanted to start off there and then upgrade, it's entirely up to you. However, if you are someone like me that has more than one website license, it's most lucrative to go for three or go for 10. So it all depends on what your website needs are. So let's go ahead and actually get into the dashboard. So here it is, here's my dashboard. I've played around with it for a few days and it's a pretty cool tool. Now, if I come to Link Whisper and Reports, this is the first dashboard you will usually see. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty good at internal linking. Um, I've got currently here 488 internal links. I've also got here my tracking domain, which is follow me. And then I've got these external links that I'm 
tracking too. Now, if you are someone um, that has been blogging for a while and you haven't done many internal links, you'll probably notice your domain number would be significantly less, but don't worry, you can easily fix it. Now, here's a little graph as well by, based on internal links versus external. So you can say, see my internal is pretty good, my external not so good. But that's a good thing. You want to have a lot of internal links as long as it's in a good structure. So if I come to the links report, it's going to show me sort of where everything is being linked to. We've got three different types of categories here. We've got the inbound internal links, outbound internal links, and also outbound external links. And what that basically means is inbound internal links is for this particular page. It's got six links going into it. And for outbound internal links, it's how many links from this page are actually going out. So this is going into the page. This is going out from the page. And then finally, we've got outbound external links. So as you can see, I'm not linking anywhere from this website, both uh, internally and externally, but there are six websites actually going to it. Now, if I click on it, it's also gonna show me which pages are linking to this particular one, which is good to see. And same thing here, if I click on the outbound internal links, you can see I'm linking to another page from it. So you can see that it is very easy to see what your pages are actually doing, having this easy interface to go with. Now, just to keep in mind that it is good to link to majority of your pages, keeping, of course, that structure that you're trying to achieve here. So you should generally try to have links going to most pages. These are just sort of um, policy type pages, so it doesn't necessarily matter. As you can see, as we go down, we've got a lot more external and internal links going on. We've also got some um, outbound external links going on. So it keeps things really nice. Now. Let's continue further with the features inside of the reports and then we'll go into actually creating some links. So on the domain report tab, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like the um, dashboard, how it showed us where we're linking to. So if you wanna check out where you're linking to, you can quickly scan down here. If we come to clicks report, it's also gonna show us how many types of people are clicking on these links. Um, this website's not going too well, but as you can see, a few people are clicking here and there, which is good. And then finally, we've got the error report, which gives you some alerts if there are some broken links and things like that happening. So it's really cool and really easy to navigate. So what we're going to do now is actually start adding some links. So click on add internal or inbound internal links, which will actually come back to the link report. And what you'll notice is if you scroll down past the titles of the post or pages, you'll see this thing here. Um, edit slash add outbound links. So what you can do is if you click on that button, it's gonna go ahead and open up the page and it's gonna load this link whisper suggestion links. Now it's gonna first of all scan all the different types of content in your page and then it's gonna give you some suggestions of where you can actually add in a link. So first of all, there's this one here, add internal outbound link and the post links to this article. So basically it's scanned through, it says, uh, it's found something like copywriting software and then it sees that this article is actually about copywriting software and it says you should link it together. Now, if you wanted to change it, you can click on edit sentence where you can change the sentence to sort of sound a, a little bit more native or a little bit more um, smooth and human versus just choosing something that's going to link. But I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is click on it and then press insert links into post. And it's gonna go ahead, go into this particular article, link to this particular one here, and it's only gonna take a few seconds. So now this article has a brand new internal outbound link going to one of my other blog posts using a particular term that was relative within this content. So it's all pretty cool. I've created another link to keep people on the website even longer, which is exactly what Google wants to see. It doesn't want to just take people to pages where they can't click anywhere else on the website. It's basically a dead end. So that's why internal linking is so important. Now, just to let you know, I didn't have many suggestions here because these blog posts aren't honestly that long. To give you an idea, if you have got a lot of other posts within your category that are similar, you can expect to see multiple results. Um, it's literally just because I haven't got many art articles in this particular category. So once you're happy with the internal outbound links, it's actually time to start doing some inbound links. Now, I don't believe there is uh, many posts within this category, so I'll choose a different one, which is, uh, let's choose, say this WooFunnels review. So what I'm gonna do is open up this page and come down to the link whisper section to see what's sort of going on inside of here. 
So we have here a few different suggestions. They're not actually in the same category or tag, but this is more just to show you um, how many options are sort of there. But if we wanna add an in inbound links, we just click here, add inbound links. And what it's going to do is scan all of your other pieces of content to see if there's anything that's relative to this content here. So as you can see, we've got this page here, uh, Wishpon Review, which is a landing page software, which is also similar to WooFunnels. It is also a landing page software. And what you can do is come through and decide out of all of these articles, which ones you wanna link to this blog post, right? It's going to give it a lot of power if you do it like this. So it's quick and easy doing it in one sort of dashboard versus going to each blog post, seeing what sort of contents inside of it and finding the appropriate text to link into. So what I'm gonna do is come through and choose the ones that I wanna use. So I like that it says sales funnel and automation, I'm going to there. I'm also gonna go through this post. And basically you wanna choose the ones that you want linking to it. So I'm just gonna add a couple there. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go here, click add links. And now those particular articles have got that specific text linking to the post. So it's extremely easy and it honestly makes life a breeze once you use this tool as it's gonna save you so much time. So let's go ahead to the next tab, which is auto linking. And this is the dashboard of the tool. Now this tool is very interesting because what you can do is set rules. So every time you sort of add a certain keyword in, in the future, you can automatically link it to a particular article. So let's just say I wanna add in a keyword it's called video creation and let's say I want to go to some of my posts and this one's about videos uh, for an example so I'm going to go ahead and get the link of the post and every time I want uh, every time that has the keyword video creation created and put into articles I want it to automatically link to this particular article here now as you can see every time the keyword video creation is added. There's also some rules as well. I should have probably mentioned that where you can add the link to post if it already has a link. So you can click that if you want. Only link to once per post. So that's default checked. And then you've also got select links before inserting everything like this. You can go through them. But basically this is now going to go ongoing from now on. So every time an article is created, every time a keyword like this has been set, whatever you've got inside of this auto linking tab, it's gonna go ahead and automatically link it to the article that you've put inside of here. So it's pretty cool. It's um, a very interesting tool uh, that they've sort of got out there. It's an easy way to sort of link together as well, especially if you're someone that is annoyed with the whole linking process. So that's auto linking. I'm actually just gonna delete this um, because I prefer to do them manually. So next let's go to target keywords. And this tool is pretty interesting because what you basically do is tell it what type of words you're actually trying to rank for. So when you go in to optimize these articles and get links to them, it's going to give you suggestions based around those particular words. So let's just go ahead to some active keywords to give you an idea. It's actually gone ahead and extracted a bunch um, from Rank Math. So if I click on Rank Math Keywords, you can see we've got some here, Rights on It Review. It's also got WooFinals Review, uh, and Etc. Cetera, et cetera. But what we can actually do is add in some custom keywords. So let's say Right Sonic is going to be copywriting. So I could say AI copywriting. If I click Add, uh, if I click Create, what it's going to do is every time that uh, AI copywriting has been added, it's going to suggest linking it to this particular article. So you almost want to come to target keywords first, come through your entire list and create some sort of keywords that you want. Once again, you don't have to do this step. It is just another way of really drilling into particular types of keywords that you want to link from into particular articles. So it's pretty cool because um, yeah, you can sort of customize it how you want it to go. So that's pretty cool. You just come through, add in all of the keywords. It hasn't pulled many from rank math keywords, which is quite interesting. It's my SEO tool, but regardless, you can put them in there yourself. You can choose new rows as well if you wish. Now, finally, let's talk about the URL changer. This is a pretty cool tool, especially if you recreate your posts. Let's say, for example, um, you had a article that maybe you've changed the URL of. What you can do is refix it inside of here. Let's say um, your old article was Wishpon Review. Your new article was actually Wishpon Tutorial. Maybe you've just changed it. What it's going to do is click on Add URL. And it's actually going to go through your entire site and all of the different uh, pages or posts that were linking to the 
this existing URL here, it's actually going to be re-edited and added to this particular URL. So it doesn't have a redirect, it doesn't do anything like that. In fact, it goes into the posts and actually changes the URL. So I'm going to delete this quickly because that's not actually a post, but that's what you would do if you did change a post or maybe you deleted one and did something else instead. So that's all there. And then finally, we've got settings, which you can adjust a few things like the general settings. You can change, you know, all the different types of types and outbounds, limits, things like that, content you want to ignore, advanced settings, and also licensing. So everything is inside of it. And that is Link Whisperer. So what I'm going to do right now is I just want to jump behind the camera one more time. I just want to talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that was Link Whisperer. Now, as you can see, it is a very strategic tool. It is going to help you increase your internal linking structure, which is going to make Google happy and hopefully give you more rankings. In fact, some websites actually rank without any external links or backlinks. So having internal linking structure is one of the most important things of your website. And it also helps Google understand what the entire site is about. Now, if you are a beginner to SEO, or maybe you've neglected your internal linking uh, sort of structure over the time of having your website, then you do need this tool. It is gonna save you so much time. This tool will be worth its weight in gold. And if you are an experienced veteran and you just wanna save some time, this is also gonna help you in the future, especially with those automated linking rules. Now, once again, and if you're thinking about getting started with Link Whisperer, I have left those two links I mentioned earlier down below. You can get the cheaper one-time license or it's also got the other licenses depending on your needs. So once again, check those out if you want to help support the channel. But apart from that, that was my Link Whisperer review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, smash subscribe. Loads of great product reviews coming out in the near future. So I look forward to seeing you on there. That's it from me. See you on the next video.